So the first thing that I'm doing is creating value of the button. I'm distributing treats around the button. So anytime Brooklyn approaches it, sniffs it, I'll give my clicker word yes, and then give him a treat. What this does is it indicates that the button equals good things will happen and makes him feel way more comfortable just getting closer to it since it's a new object. It's definitely really interesting and weird looking. And I'm trying to show him that button equals good. Yes. Since it seems like he's comfortable with the button, the next thing I want yes. to teach him is that he needs to lift his paw up and touch yeah. the button. So this is a way to target the button. Um, any basically right now any like movement that he gives me with his paw I will give my clicker word of yes and reward him for so I'm still trying to lure him near paw yes so I thought it would be a good idea yes. to ask for paw because paw, he knows yes. that if I ask for paw, then he will give me his yes. paw and lift up his paw. So right now he just touched it. So it was helping communicate to him super clearly of what I wanted from him. So we were able to transition that to the touch cue, which he knows. And instead of using his nose to touch, he now is using his paw to touch. And this was with lots and lots and lots of repetition. Um, we just continued practicing a few times a day for over three days. And now he really, really knows how to use that button. And he learned that touch when I point to the button equals treat. Ready? Touch. Good. 